Yo, what's happening? What's happening? Save Diego, Senor Blanco. Back in the hood. Um, what's going on? Um, all right. So pretty much last night I uh, wanted to do a little uh, let's play um, on Guild Wars 2. Um, started out with my Saber Diego Char Warrior, um, who's with the Ash Legion, that kind of thing. Um, because you know, guys, I uh, like to be pretty day. stealthy, pretty sly. Um, except I was doing it, and I did about 40 minutes of it, and I didn't really bother checking whether or not my mic was going to be loud enough while I was doing it. And uh, yeah, so that didn't really work out, and, it, and I'm going to have to do a little, uh, a, uh, what to call that? I guess, no commentary, a, uh, a voiceover, a voiceover on the whole thing. So pretty much just going to be going over. Um, why I haven't been putting content out, what's been going on with my computer, talking about Guild Wars itself, some of the cool features about it, and um, where I'm kind of going to go with this Let's Play. So, um, obviously, yeah, just starting out here with the uh, warrior killing some Masculonian ghosts who are attacking the uh, Black Citadel. Something like that, I don't know. Fuck. Um, and yeah, so the, the past probably two months I haven't been able to play Guild Wars 2 at all which is devastating because I absolutely love the game love so many things about it probably a, 9 out of 10 things in the game I absolutely love um, just from from the art to the gameplay to the um, way that you, you switch moves with different weapons active dodging oh, fuck like I mean the, the biggest thing for me is the, yeah, the gameplay and the art um, Astonishing how much better it is than any other game I've ever played, um, any other MMO I've ever played, um, and yeah, so that, that's been a shame. The, the problems that with my computer's gone from uh, heating to issues with my memory. Had to go get um, some new memory for my computer, and also I uh, had to do it do a. Uh, sent it back down under warranty to get some heating done uh, when it was sent back up after the memory got fixed the uh, the um, heat sink wasn't attached properly and so it burnt through all the thermal paste and then the heat sink wasn't working properly so my computer was running at about uh, 80 degrees when I was playing Guild Wars 2 so I was thinking that's not very good uh, because if I push it anymore it'll just start melting Molten the chips and the silicon and stuff, or something like that. I don't know how that work, that stuff works. Um, so I sent it back down. They fixed it all up, and then I was like, "Well, it's been down there for two months. I may as well just chuck a heat, like a, a water cool on it, just to make sure, because it's getting pretty humid around summer in Australia now." Um, and I'm also moving north, but we'll get to that later. So. Um, yeah, that's that finally got it back, and I've just been working through some issues with graphics, um, graphics drivers and stuff, and I've finally got it all sorted out. Um, and I was absolutely just stoked to be able to start gaming again. I'm sure some of you guys have gone through that kind of stuff before, and it's just annoying as hell. And yeah, very happy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. And this is what is fucking so dope about Guild, War, about Guild Wars. Jesus Christ. How can you not... Like, how... That's so cool. And I always thought... Kind of always looked at it like, um, well, you're kind of just attacking a fucking stone statue, like the base of it here. Like I'm just going swing, swing, hit the stone. But what I'm kind of thinking is they're actually kind of aiming for those gems, uh, those gems in the rock there, um, where I think that's Ritlock. I don't, yeah, that's Ritlock. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Ritlock are attacking. Kind of that's like destroying his soul, Ascalonian soul. Um, that's what he went into to uh, possess the big statue. I got your flank!
got to report back to Smokestead. Check this out, ready? Um, what's going on, guys? Uh, oh, oh hey. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch this. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. Don't sell yourself short. You were part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Smokestead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you making the rounds, lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the Legions can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers. But if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, Legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. Good guy, Sabat Diego. I reckon I got a pretty good looking character. So yeah, I was like, oh no, I'll go to the horn, go to the buckler, and I was like, no, nah, fuck it, I'll go to the buckler, because I kind of like the old school sword and shield kind of gameplay. Oh, I see that's pretty cool, and doing those, like, um, the number five moves to block is uh, pretty dope. Uh, so I'm just going to run down here, talk to this fella, see what he's got to tell me. Um, Smokestead lies outside the Black Citadel on land you took back from the... Oh, yeah. It's our base of operations for further expansion into this region. Yeah. We're pressing east and north, <laughs> facing resistance from the Flame Legion and an infestation of Ascalonian ghosts. The Legions need every soldier to do his or her part. And then I was like, all right. As you travel, you'll and encounter magical Asurn waypoints that you can use for a small fee to rapidly travel around the world. Yeah, I was like, I've never listened to this much before. But you'll find many challenges that will test your metal and improve your skill. Usually just be like, okay, see ya. So I'm just like running around kind of checking things out here because I haven't played for a while. Uh, obviously know that I can't get a, uh, whatever the fuck these things are called. Uh, train a booklet, yeah. Um, Manual, that's it. Um, to start using like uh, traits and shit, I think that is. Um, like this is how long it's been since I played. I really can't remember very much about all like the the small details, but I'll do my do my best not to sound like such a dick. Um, so now I'm just running around, just going, oh, can I gather? No, I can't, because I don't get no fuck tools. So what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Um, so pretty exciting at the moment but um uh, i'm actually today i'm actually receiving a call from real estate agent to see whether or not myself and two of my friends are going to get into a nice little house up on the gold coast a three bedroom cozy little place um two story um to see if we get on that little place for university we're all going to the same university um and uh yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I went up the other uh, week to go check it out for um, with, with one of with one of my mates on behalf of the other mate who couldn't make it because he was working. Um, went up there, did an inspection. Real estate real, real estate agent was about our age, like twenties. So she um, she kind of liked us. And look at me trying to fucking slice that cow up. Nigga, you ain't eat no steak yet. Um, and. And yeah, so that, that's always a pretty exciting time. Um, I'm pretty confident we'll get it. I'm just kind of waiting for the call at the moment, all the email. I should check my email, but... We was also up there for a uh, big day out, 2013, uh, on the Gale Coast, which was fucking amazing. Absolutely cooked it, but um, well worth it. Definitely well worth it. Big day out, fourth big day out. It's always a good... Good festival to go to. Surprisingly, not so many gym junkie fags there this year. Not so many YOLO swag fags there, that kind of thing, which is always good to uh, see. Because um, that's quite a large inhabitants of the uh, <laughs> Gold Coast region. Um, lots of little sluts there, but I've got to say. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Um, so, pretty excited to go up there with my mates, and we all, oh, my best mate that I'm going with, we both play video games, we both play Guild Wars. Um, the other one doesn't really have that good a computer to play um, Guildies. He has a Mac, and we always rip on him about it, because Macs are gay. 
So I fucking just nailed that event. And that's the cool thing, like, events, too. Events, like... In fact, I'll speak on that, is... That, at the moment, myself and my best friend, Jarb, we are the only two dudes out of all our friends at game um, that kind of play Guild Wars 2. Um, myself and probably another five other friends used to all play World of Warcraft at some point. Um, and when they came and tried Guild Wars 2, they didn't really... Um, they didn't really expect what they saw. They all really loved the the art style and they all really loved the art style and the, the storyline and all that kind of thing and how you can shoot like make your own personal story. But when they started doing the gameplay they didn't really understand like a lot of people didn't understand but I don't know why I don't think they really put enough effort into learning the um the way moves work with getting different weapons and it switches your moves and how you gotta learn the moves and how you've only got five uh, slots, um, utility skills come at later levels, um, and also the biggest thing for them that annoyed the fuck out of them, and it kind of still, I kind of still do the same thing, is follow hearts around the map as if they're quests, um, kind of like in, uh, well, why am I whipping this scorpion to death? <laughs> oh my, now I'm cutting it up. Um, is how and well, like you'd follow a quest line, like the Westfall quest chain, which is the dopest quest chain in World of Warcraft for sure. I love Westfall. Maybe go from Hall back to Alliance. Um, through Westfall from like the start, all from like level 10, 11, wherever you start, all the way through like 17, 18. Um, and that's what they were kind of looking at um, Hearts as, is like quest, as a quest line. And that's what I still look at it like because I, I like getting 100% completion on all the maps. However, what you really kind of look. For, we've got to look for is, and you got to go to uh, when they pop up are uh, the events on the map, um, because they're the ones that avoid, uh, uh, award the most experience, um, the most gold, that kind of thing, um, and they're often a lot funner, a, a lot more fun. Um, and don't get me wrong, a lot of the hearts are also fun, but some of the hearts are pretty, like, how are you going? Uh, the best thing is when hearts and events coincide and that's what's so awesome about this game as well is that they don't make it a challenge to have fun they don't make it a challenge to 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 level it's really so much more focused towards having fun um and being able to come on the game and uh, <laughs> whoa <laughs> being able to get on the game log on the game and play as little or as much as you like without feeling like you're grinding or missing out on something like in WoW, how you, you almost felt, I almost felt towards the end of me playing WoW is that I'm paying 15 bucks a month. I should be, I should be playing for at least 15 bucks a month. You know, I mean, I should be at least get my value out. And you get on, you'd be going, oh fuck! Like PvP to me was very unbalanced. The PVE was fucking boring and repetitive. And there's nothing else to do in that game except for PvP and PVE. For someone like me, someone like me, um, that is a fairly casual part-time gamer. I don't, I'm not a full-time gamer for sure. Um, that's why I'm not very knowledgeable as to what the fuck is going on most of the time. But you know, I'm just having fun, um, and I just want to make a couple of fucking videos. So get off me back. <laughs> you know the drill, <laughs> Mad Hueys. Um, so yeah, so that's that's why they don't play so much. Um, and, but that's what I, I I really like about the game is that kind of innovation where it's more about finding events and doing community based um, activities that get you the most experience and sometimes you find an event that goes from one part of the map all the way through to another part of the map it just keeps evolving say like they Colin Johansson the cheese, my friend, the fucking cheese about what I'm speaking about right now is ultimate. Um, say this event, say I kick these Flame Legion Char out of this, um, out of the armory, um, Iron Legion armory with that huge Iron Legion furnace right there, kick them out, clear it a couple of waves, kick them out, and then the, the Flame Legion are pushed back from the armory so they go and attack in their retreat. Um, the people that have thrown mortars just a hundred meters away, which I'm pretty sure happens. I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, and then and then um, you attack them. You make them retreat more. And then on, say on their way back, they fucking 
take a char relic that you really 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 want or a symbol war standard or something and then you got to go into the char territory and you've got to take that you've got to take that um that char war standard back um to complete the event so it's like three events that go across a section of the map that probably cover maybe two or three hearts at the same time um that's a terrible, terrible example of what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I don't really know why I'm talking about all this kind of stuff because it's the 29th of January 2013 and the game came out fucking uh, ages ago. What? Six months ago, maybe? I not, No, not... June, July, I can't even remember. No, yeah, maybe even earlier. I can't remember. But most of the people are going to be interested in watching this anyway, which isn't very going to be very many people. Thank God that you are watching it. Bless ya. Um, they're going to know about all this shit. So what the fuck am I talking about? Telling them about events. Um. Anyway, but. Let's do a little talking on uh, how I feel about the game after playing it, um, not for two months, but three or four months prior, or however long it came out, because I got it on release. I ain't lying to you about that. Not word, one, one word of a lie. Um, the, the character that I started off with okay oh wait here we go guys fucking hell here we go alright okay Silvari what the fuck ah <sighs> this wigged me out a heap alright so World of Warcraft obviously has a huge influence on how I view other games now just it, it just does um especially other MMOs, it just does because um, I played it for like four years and you can't get rid of that experience. Um, you got to try pretty hard not to think about it when you're playing another MMO. you got to try pretty hard not to compare it to things, um, especially Google Wars 2 because it's a completely different game, um, like completely different game, just above and beyond the Call of Duty. <laughs> Battlefield 3. Um, but... Night Elves. I used to play Night Elves a lot in um, in World of Warcraft. That was my main race. Night Elf Rogue. Um, and that's why I play Thief. Night Elf War Rogue, Night Elf Warrior. So, when I started playing Guildies, check my motherfucking awesome shield out. Oh yeah, that's like better than some shields you get at like level fucking 80, 85, 90 in World of Warcraft. I'm just saying, I'm level 2. Level 2! What are you talking about? Fuck. Um, and... <clears throat> what the fuck was I talking about? Ah, yes. Night Elves. And, and so I was like, yes, I'm, I'm so digging the Silvari. Silvari going to be sick. Um, and then it kind of came out and I started playing their area in beta and I was like... You know, I've kind of played this area a bit too much in beta. It's kind of lost a little bit of the zing for me. And oh, I didn't really enjoy it in the first place, to tell you the truth. It's not how I thought it was going to be. It's too... This is going to sound weird. But it's too colourful. I didn't want it to be more that colourful. I wanted it to be more foresty. Oh, like, to tell you the truth, I wanted it to be more like um, Shadow Glen like the Night Elf starting area. I want it to be more like Shadowglen, not gonna lie, just wanted to be like that, because that's what I really, really like, that's what I really, really liked about WoW, and I really wanted to have just a, a new, better experience of that. Unfortunately, that's not how it worked out, um, and that's fine, because why would they do that in the first, like, why would they just straight up copy another game, I don't know, um, in that, in that way, I don't know. Um, so, I kind of went off Silvari's, I was just like, I don't really want to play him, and I actually had most fun, most of the time I had most of the fun in, uh, playing as a human, in Shamor. Um, I really like the quest there, sorry, I really like the hearts there, I really like the events there, and I just really like playing my, um, Senor Blanco, my thief. Um, 
who is my main, who's only level 56 or something at the moment because I haven't been playing that much. Um, I also had three jobs as well, guys, so give me a fucking break. I had three jobs for the past, like, while. Um, saving up a bit of money so I can move away. So I mean, I don't play much, but... Yeah, so... Th this is what is really cool, and this is what I'm trying... This is what I try to tell my friends, is that... Don't... Look at Guild Wars and expect it to... Um, conform to any ideas or preconceptions that you have about MMOs and about what things are going to be like based on other games because when I look back at my time playing World of Warcraft I fucking hated goblins, I hated gnomes, I hated dwarfs I was like oh my god why why would you play a dwarf? why? and why would you play a gnome? a gnome's borderline but why? and then I'm like I'm not going to play a Sura. Suras look so fucking gay. They look so, so gay in all the cinema, in all the the teasers and all that type of shit, all the movies and stuff uh, about Guild Wars 2 that was coming out when the game was coming out. I'm just going, what are people doing? Saying that a Sura are cool. I don't know what they're doing. They're going around there, but they're fucking on pingers or some shit. They're high as fuck. And then I played a Sura and I played Necromancer and I was like, Necromancer? I'm never playing a Necromancer. I played a Sura and Necromancer because I just went, fuck it. And it was like fucking insane. Like, oh my god. Then all I wanted to play was Master and Necromancer. And that is really what is the best thing about Guild Wars because you are fucking doing what you don't expect and you're having fun doing it. And on that note, with another 20 minutes of footage, to tell you the truth, I might just cut this fucker short. I might cut off short because I want to go play my uh, Sura Necromancer and no one's going to stop me. Uh, but, yeah, so I was going to do like a full playthrough so like every single thing I did on my child it's going to show you. But now I'm thinking, no, I might just do some voiceovers, I might do some live commentaries on it, that kind of thing. Um, I just pick and choose um, when I feel like I've got something to talk about um, or when I'm doing something fun, when I'm playing with a friend, that kind of thing. I'll fucking, uh, I'll hit it up, do a little bit of recording, just fucking edit that shit up and uh, upload it to the, the Senior TV. So, guys, if you think you want to watch some more footage from me um, with my ramblings and not knowing what the fuck's going on, that kind of thing, and just kind of feel like I sound like I've got ADD some shit, because I can't really hold the topic of which I'm talking about sometimes, but, you know, whatever. If you guys feel like that is uh, something you want to watch um, when you get real fucking bored and you don't want to play yourselves, or you're on your iPhone at work or at school, which is always a great thing to do, because fuck school, fuck life, um, then just hit that like button, hit the dislike button if you didn't like it, I'll try and maybe just leave me some constructive criticism in the uh, comments below so I can change my uh, technique up, um, or maybe actually develop a technique in making videos because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but yeah, or subscribe, um, share it, comment, you know, just show me some love, and uh, yeah, fucking catch ya, yoi!